I don't think I know how to quit. But the biggest problem I have these days is focus. So this thing, it required roughly around two weeks of my focus. You know, I had some on days and I had some off days. This is done-ish. I still gotta do some painting on the wall, but it's fully functional. <sighs> so currently I think there's a transition that's happening in my life currently. And I believe it's telling me I, that I need to give up something. So yeah, there's a variety of things that are taking up my time and some things that I really like and really enjoy. Some things is like I'm just doing things to do pass time by. And some other times I just wish I had more time for. For example, I like to spend time with my family. I can do that more. Other times I'm at work. I like working, but lately it's just been Yeah. Yeah. And as of recently, there's times where I'm tutoring. I'm actually pretty surprised. I didn't think I would really enjoy tutoring that much. It's been a while since I tutored, but it just like showed that how much I really like to learn and teach others. And I've just been tutoring in physics lately for someone that a relative of mine's. I think that's just really awesome. It just shows that there's something there and I wanna see if I can explore that more. And I think the thing that I'm doing recently is gonna help with that. And then there's business. Hmm. So, I've been getting into acquiring some businesses. Well, just a business at this present moment. Because real estate is crazy high. And yeah, I think this is a great opportunity to find really distressed businesses and make them profitable. I am looking at one business, let's just say it's some type of gas station of some sort of a brand and yeah i think it's just pretty crazy that i'm looking at this one business and for one of the things that i learned is that they make a lot of money from merchandise merchandise is the main source of their income you would think like a gas station would be making a lot of money from gas and actually they really don't so yeah merchandise slash jazz non-alcohol, alcohol, beverages, those sorts of things, kind of things. Those are the money making in the gas station corner store, all right? And then you have other stuff like the lottery stuff that comes into it, and then ATM fees and commissions and stuff, cool stuff. So, so many ways you can monetize this like gas station stuff. Yeah, I think it's just really fascinating uh, learning this business. But the one thing that I really hate and it always brings it up in regards to some type of franchise is that the franchise gets a lot of cut. The franchisee gets their money cut from them. And this, this is probably one of the reasons why I might not even consider this up this particular deal is because yeah they can cut so much i do see that in the compensation range is like you know roughly around six figures and stuff but i mean six figures would be what i would expect from the deal per year but if i'm paying that for employees and stuff then i'm only getting a small percentage like the percentage is really small like um year to year is like four percent that's not a lot like, I mean, that's what I expect from like a real estate deal. If I can get 4%, 4.5% return on my money invested, but from a business, I would want more than that. 
like margins per year. And I want some type of control with that, those margins. And if I'm paying six figures in salary uh, for my employees, and that's taking a big chunk of my money, and I could be paying that for myself or, you know, reinvesting that money to another business, like that's, you know, it's gonna really distress the business and the margins are really small. So, uh, I'm gonna be, you know, living on very small margins per month, every single month, and if it doesn't go well, kind of thing. So, I don't think it's gonna be a really good business. I might not even consider it. So, there we go. But I learned a lot doing this deal. Learned a lot in his lessons, like where they're making their money at mostly. And, you know, some other stuff I have questions for before I, you know, fully cancel this deal. But this is a complete learning lesson for me about acquiring some type of business. And I plan on acquiring little small businesses like this in the next years couple of years and where I just you know buy the business be the business owner and get a manager that manages the business or some type of operator that will manage the business for me I just need to buy it so you know that's why I'm pivoting to so pivoting is cool but I think I'm just spreading my time out and my focus out too much. I just need to really focus on what I need to get done and get rid of something in this like whole entire dynamic. Of course, I got to keep the family, you know what I'm saying? I love the family. That's keeping me right, keeping me refreshed. I'm going to be getting rid of some other things that essentially is not, you know, providing value or, you know, moving in the right direction in the long run. We'll see.